order of the Patriarch. Only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. My uncle, Gideon Reyes, wants to speak to the Rangers. Oh, of course, Miss Wesson. Open it up, fellas! I'm in Team November, Ranger HQ here. A squad of BAMPs rolled up to Ranger HQ, rough mercenary types. Their leader goes by Gary Wolf, claims to be an ex-Ranger. Says he has news for you about your old enemy. Seems like the cutthroat take no prisoner type. Over. Bad ass motherfuckers. That's a negative. Some hurt feelings and broken pottery, maybe. But they appear to be friendlies. No idea. Your guess is as good as mine. We'll be here, over and out. Welcome to the right side of the tracks. I don't think we've met. I can't believe I'm stuck with this assignment. Well, the crime around here happens indoors. Hello, hello and welcome to the wonders, fabulous, most fabulous home of the Lamar family. What is your business at Lamar Estate? Processing. Insufficient credentials for entry. Please enter the elevator gate, and the parameters may change in the future. Your presence has not been requested. You may not pass. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. May the show go on. Oh, look. Tourists. Even with this beastly weather, I can smell them from here. Absolutely repugnant, South. Repugnant. They've added more guards, looks like. Ah, the park. Hey, boss. You know, Miss Wesson. The marshals could always do poor Lucia. I thought you wanted to see me. <laughs> we don't discriminate. As long as you can shoot and follow orders. Perhaps not, then. I can only do one of those things. So they killed the Blessings, the Shulers, the Jacksons. I wish they'd get a younger preacher to come and give sermons. You just want eye candy. Guilty. The faithful will float. You are safe here. Mrs. Putnam is still looking for her cat. Ah, uh, you're the rangers, yes? I'm most pleased to see you. I'm Gideon Reyes. Uncle Gideon, you heard about my family? I did, Sobrina, and I'm so sorry. You know you always have a place in my house for 
as long as you need. I know. And I am grateful. But I have a place with these rangers now. We mean to see justice done for my family. Is that so, rangers? She was always an impressive girl. My sister would be proud of her. Now, I expect you're here about my call. There is a situation in Colorado Springs that requires a delicate touch. But first, you need to know the truth about this city. Colorado Springs isn't as prosperous as it pretends. We can barely feed our existing population, and now smugglers are bringing refugees into the city every day. If we had enough food to support them, we would welcome them. But we don't. I've asked the Patriarch to chase off these smugglers, but he says the crisis with the Dorseys and his children have left the marshals spread too thin. It seems he'd rather just have Sheriff Daisy keep putting refugees in the pillories, rather than stopping the tide at its source. It's infuriating. And that is why I've called you. You're right, Rangers. I am suggesting you to treat the symptom rather than the cause. But that is because the symptom is about to overwhelm us. And the cause... Well, it is very difficult to change the Patriarch's mind. And if it can't be done, the alternative would be... changing the regime. Which, even for those who have wanted it most, has seemed impossible. Thus, we must address things that are possible, like discouraging smugglers from bringing refugees to the city. The Plains, mostly. After the Patriarch defeated the Eastern gangs, People started settling out there, thinking it was safe. Now the gangs have returned, and all the homesteaders are fleeing back to Colorado Springs. Don't put words in my mouth, Rangers. I'm not suggesting anything. I'm merely stating realities. My loyalty to the Patriarch goes without saying. But let's save any talk of politics until after this refugee crisis is dealt with. Are you willing to help me or not? Not at all. You will be well rewarded, and not just in money. I do a lot of business with the local Arapaho garage, and I can get them to provide you with the mechanics to service your vehicle. They always have the best. And I'll pay for everything. Thank you. I'm told the smugglers are operating out of the bazaar, a trader's market east of Colorado Springs. When you find them, well, do what you can. Convince them to take the refugees elsewhere. Convince them to stop entirely. Arrest them. I just want this problem to go away. Thank you for agreeing to help. You are doing Colorado Springs a great service. Goodbye, and good luck. Charged with treason! 
would you? You're a barrel of monkeys, huh? Come on, answer the question. All right, all right. in charge in here. Got a proposition for Welcome you, board. Rangers. Where are you from? Oh, got a right. proposition for yeah, you, Rangers. Too. You're the CO around here? Huh. <laughs> okay. Quality setup this time. Better than back in AZ. Guess Daddy Buchanan's buying you all the good gear. I helped the Rangers during their whole Cochise debacle. They might have come out strong if they'd listened to me. Too bad. Gary Wolf, freelance security consultant and synth hunter. Got a proposition for you. After the Rangers nuked Cochise and themselves, I figured somebody competent had to chase down its mechanical brood. So I recruited folks who'd lost family to synths, and I formed a posse. Decommissioned a dozen of the plastic punks in AZ. Then heard a feud headed east and followed them here. Now I'm getting flack from that tin star twat Daisy for exchanging fire with the synth we tracked to Colorado Springs. That's where you come in. Interfering bitch told the marshals to shoot us on sight if we stepped inside the city limits again, so we can't go after this October 11 synth. Was hoping you might be interested in taking care of it for us. Cash bounty for its head. Jesus, you're not one of those, are you? Fucking simps are always talking about how synths are sentient. They have feelings. Bullshit. That's how they trick you. Synths are just top-grade robots. What makes them dangerous is that every one of them has a little piece of Cochise in their electric brain, like a virus. And if you leave them alone for too long, that virus spreads. And pretty soon we have the goddamn robot apocalypse all over again. Not on my watch. We cap them as soon as we see them. Don't give them a chance to talk. Are you kidding me? Cochise is the Ranger's greatest enemy. A supercomputer that almost exterminated them twice, and which built an army of synths to kill every last human on Earth. Rangers aren't training their recruits at all these days, are they? Yeah, no idea why. Synths are weird that way. It and another synth called Tourmaline caged some sieves on their way here, just for kicks. So watch yourselves. Eleven is a stone killer. Gotta be neutralized before it kills again. And killing it will help us find its comrades. All synths got a radio in their heads. Let's them communicate long distance and triangulate on each other. Once I crack Eleven's head open, I'll hack it for their locations. You wanna go after the others too? I'll make it worth your time. We cornered Eleven downtown and tried to take it out quietly, but there was a snafu and we had to open fire, shot up the street, wounded some sieves. Silly bitch wouldn't listen when I warned her about the synth acted like we were the problem and sent us packing. Fuck her. 
Hey now, that's my ex-boss you're talking about, Hoss. Lucky you quit then. She's a frag candidate for sure. <laughs> Add it to your list? Ought to be your top priority. Whatever. We'll wait here until you bring back its head. Should still be downtown somewhere. You'll know you're near it when you start hearing weird static on your radio. Squad, at ease. Glad I landed this job. Hello, Rangers. Um, permission to speak? I just wanted to say thank you again for saving my life. If you hadn't talked to Judge Watkins, well, I wouldn't be here, and, and I'm really happy to be here. I guess that's all I wanted to say. Thanks. Oh, and, uh, Mom thanks you, too. Guessing it's gonna be tough getting that Valor kid out of Denver in one piece, but it's gotta be done. Uh. The kid Victory sounds like a bad apple. Come say hey when you're free. Hey, I'm feeling much better now. Ready to help out any way I can. Uh, it's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine, I guess. Not really inspiring anybody, but that's not really our job, is it? Our job is to save the folks back home. And, well, I'm pretty sure we'll get there. We could try harder, though. You bet. Ready when you are. The food you're feeding us is gonna cause a mutiny. I'd hire a cook if I was you. Go when I get bored, Ranger. 
soldiers. So you better hurry, cause I was born restless. Come in November 1. Receiving an urgent distress call in your area. Patching it through. This is Arapaho 44. We're pinned down on 25 south of Colorado Springs. Two escorts killed, and these motherfuckers are circling back. Oh, fuck! Here they come! Oh, fuck! 44! Are you there, 44? The Rangers will get somebody to your location right away. Copy? 44! Do you copy? Ah. <sighs> Lost contact. You heard them, November. And listen, this isn't just any convoy. A-44 is hauling new power armor for the Marshals. Unknown. But the Patriarch will expect us to make recovering that power armor our highest priority. Get there fast and you should be able to save that cargo. Over and out. there I warned you we ain't got nothing worth stealing even the folk are too weak to be valuable we're just some travelers looking for a place to settle used to live out near Las Animas until the godfishers came to visit Colorado Springs ain't got space or supplies everywhere else folk try to kill you on sight we keep roaming, but we got even less food than hope. Frankly, we're starving. Help, Rangers. Truly help. We were farmers until a few weeks ago. We're clever, but we never had to live like nomads before.
please. I assure you, your bizarre shopping experience is completely safe. You may have folks fooled, Amanda, but not me. I know something is fishy here, and I'm leaving. Shame. Ah, over here, friends. Welcome. Salutations and assorted felicitations. Welcome to the bazaar, the marketplace of the unusual. I've not seen you here before. Know this, the bazaar can be found underneath our feet, buried by layers of snow. Access is restricted to the lucky few who possess an entrance pass. You can purchase an entrance pass at the door from our esteemed hosts, the Monster Army. Or, if you lack the funds, simply find an established merchant to vouch for you. Oh, a misunderstanding, I assure you. There have been some troubles in the bazaar of late. But nothing our esteemed hosts, the Monster Army, can't resolve. I assure you, inside the bazaar awaits a satisfying and secure shopping experience. Up the ramp, you'll find the door to the bazaar, covered by a vehicle. My name is Ananda Rabindranath, Mannerite missionary, merchant, and your humble servant. I was assigned to answer any questions you may have. Felicitations. It is common wisdom to keep one's mouth shut when one lacks courteous things to say. Truly, I find the very idea of smuggling people revolting. With that said, if I were a less discreet person, I'd suggest that you drive out to the old parking garage down the road to the north. Who knows? You may find your answers there. Find me in the camp, if you have need of me again. Civilization collapses. All of Colorado Springs will look like this.
double. 